What's up everybody? I figured I would retry another drive today. Uh, the last one was insanely easy to edit considering I didn't have to add any visuals. So uh, I'm going to see if I can recreate another zero disengagement drive. I guarantee you it will not succeed. And maybe by challenging the FSD gods we'll get there. But I promise you we're going to have a disengagement. <laughs> I am not like gonna fudge it though, as in if I do feel unsafe or it's doing something super wrong, I'm gonna obviously correct it. Uh, I will be sending snapshots if I see any nonsense, that kind of things, that kind of thing. So far so good. It's being really cautious around these cars. I completely cut off the line. Glad I wasn't in the middle of the road. Very nice. All right, we're coming up on this like really brutal uh, unprotected left that is five lanes. Um, since Chuck Cook's out of commission, I'm probably gonna do some work here. All right, come on, man. Nope, nope, that's a fail. So it's done that before. I don't know why it goes in that lane. And I would prefer it. Wow, that was a cop too. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad he didn't care. I also really would like to move it over here. I'm gonna see if it stays over here. The speed limit here is like 40 miles an hour, moves up to 45 here. Uh, that's insanely slow for this road. Uh, I think that's why that cop is there, is he, uh, they'll either chill there or where we just passed or up here, like trying to catch people here we go in uh, 60 on this road, especially with the hill coming this way, uh, you'll find people flying down this road, like this guy to my left. So like, that's why I don't wanna be in the left lane um, it's okay with FSD being over there because we'll need to be over there eventually. I do think we don't have to be in this lane. Um, that it's probably, unless there's like highway traffic, better to be in the right lane for now. I guess only because of that. I don't know. You'll you'll see later. So right here is why I would prefer to be in the right lane. So there's a right turn lane for the highway, and this left lane up here is going into the, the left turn lane for the highway here, and it kind of morphs from uh, two to three here. And so I have to like kind of jitter to the right a little bit. Or jut. I don't know, some fancy word for turning to the right slightly. But so far, so good. I gotta say, now that 10.11.2 is kind of kind of ironed out in comparison to what it was, this is definitely one of the smoothest versions I've ever driven. Um, they must have done something with the right of way and the the lane. Some I don't know something to do with like lane decisioning and things like that because. It used to jump like crazy between lanes, and uh, it just would not wait on cars. Like, uh, I don't know, I'll link a tweet in the description, but I was at an unprotected left on my first drive the, the first day that sort of everyone in the beta program got it. As in, I'm not an OG tester, I'm a, a 99er, so I got it at 10.3. Um, anyway, uh, I was waiting at an unprotected left and that on that day that it, that it was to everyone and uh, there were like three different cars, like cars in three different lanes coming to me uh, this way and 
he just wanted to go. Like, it, it wanted to cross three lanes for a left turn, like, despite seeing them. And it just drove me insane to the point where, like, why would I enable this software if it's just not going to pay attention to traffic? Like, that's just super dangerous and not useful at all. So that's why I stopped doing videos, uh, at least for this version. I'm excited that 10.12, that's what their focus was on. Um, at least it seems to me like they kind of focus on, like they'll they'll do the you know three steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, one step back kind of thing, and the one step back they like, you know, it gets bad, and so they'll eventually just focus on those regressions. Awesome! I was just about to bring up that we should probably get in the left lane. I think for 10.12 I'll bring the 360 cam back. Uh, I've really just been busy at work and busy with life in general, so I haven't had time to uh, prioritize editing videos, plus the sort of rage quit that I had. Um, but at least with the heavy traffic, uh, you know, focus on the next one. You know, we'll need to have a you know at least a 180 view on top. Uh, so I will do that. I'll probably do my angle turns video again. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so nice. It's choosing to go on this, uh, like, where I would turn. Let's see how it does. All right, we're slowing down way too early, so I'm pressing the accelerator. And it's going to move. Good job. Whoa, whoa. Nope. That's another disengagement. I'll just go ahead and make the turn. I don't know what its issue there was. Was there, excuse me. I feel like when I'm recording, I have speech dyslexia. It's really strange. Come on, man. You gotta pay attention. All right, I'm... <laughs> Whatever. It would have stopped. I don't like... Uh... Okay, hold on. I want to see what it's going to do here because it has a choice. I've never seen it go through this parking lot before. Come on, give some people some space. There you go. Not bad. We're at our destination, so I'm gonna go ahead and take over and park. But uh, I don't know. That was that was decent. All right, we're back. I'm gonna challenge it a little bit by going the back way. It is what it has mapped, and this is kind of the way that I come. It's just behind the buildings, but it's really dark. There's no lane lines painted. I really do wish that it would like stay within a an imaginary boundary, but it really only does that for cars that are coming. I mean, it's fine. It's just like jittery and skittish. So it doesn't read that stop. There is a line there that you're supposed to stop at if, you know, there's like traffic to the left. There's one here too. There's no traffic to the left. So it doesn't read those. I'm gonna go ahead and send a snapshot so they can at least see that. Uh, in the future, I'll disengage for those. All right, so now it's my turn. That was good. Wow. So it even followed that truck. Like it kind of like creeped out knowing that the truck was going to pass. That's something that a human does that I've never seen FSD do. Usually FSD waits like painfully long to start the maneuver once it's, once it's clear and even maybe like plus another second. And that one, the last truck, uh, was coming and it like started the maneuver just like a human would. That's really cool. 
All right. I knew there was going to be hidden stuff that I just was too ragey to go over. So I'm glad uh, that I ended up doing these videos. I'm also going to bump it up to 50, 45 here is really slow. <clears throat> Maybe that's the Atlanta talking, I don't know. <laughs> We do have a lot of hills, so I think that may be why our speed limits are, I don't know, they feel slow. It's because like we have a lot of lanes, a lot of open road, you know, stuff like that. But then when the, uh, you know, visibility isn't clear, you know, it can kind of surprise you. I mean, stuff like this used to scare me when someone would like pull in and it was turning red and stuff like that. To be fair, if, uh, that car had actually followed the red light and stopped, then, you know, it would have been a hard-breaking event, but it would have been a hard-breaking event for me. Maybe I would have seen it a little faster, like, like, uh, anticipated it and slowed down a bit much, but, or, like, a bit more, but, uh, in this case, you know, it wasn't even necessary. All in all, I'll say that FSD is way more comfortable it used to be really nerving, nerve wracking because there was just literally every single moment like that, which was just a common occurrence in heavy traffic areas where people just do crazy things. They like you saw on the the way over here, those people just completely turned out in front of me. And even when I let a guy that pulled out in front of me go, the guy behind him pulled out in front of me too. So it's like I don't know. I, FSD used to not see those things or anticipate them and you know so it made just for a hair raising drive every single time plus it's you know jerkiness and inability to see and just all this nonsense a lot of that has gone away so i'm really really happy about that we're still getting a tad bit of fan of braking but i wouldn't even call that really bad because it We didn't like slam on the brakes. Apologies if you think I should have sent a snapshot and you're saying, oh, you're gaming the system, stuff like that. I'm just giving you my perspective, guys. If you don't like it, then tell me. Uh, maybe I'll change my mind. I've done it several times. And this is also not scientific. I'm just kind of reporting the weather here. <laughs> I'm not claiming to be the arbiter of truth with full self-driving. I'm just trying to show you guys, like, what it feels like when you use it. I honestly feel incredibly lucky to even have this software. Uh, I do think it's kind of a scam in terms of, you know, we were we were sold literally full self-driving and robo-taxis and stuff like that. And uh, for me, 2019, that was three years ago, man. And I'm not saying that this isn't a hard problem to solve, but I shouldn't have to feel lucky for this software. I, I think everyone that paid for it should probably have this um, if they wanted it. It's gotten pretty good to the point now where I don't think the safety score is like that big a deal anymore. I do think that you are you need to pay attention, but it, it just doesn't fuck up as much as it used to. for the language. I should beep that out. Alright, so here's the thing. It needs to get over to the right. Like now. I'm already bothering the cars behind me. I'm just going to do an intervention and get over. In a previous experience, this is... Yeah, see how slow the speed limit is here? People are like flying by. So in previous, uh, previous, uh, you know, experiences driving on this road, uh, the car never gets over and it freaks out. See here we're getting over into the left lane. We're going to miss this right turn. It's right here. It now it's getting in the center lane. What, what is it doing? And so these people here are like, what the hell are you doing, man? 
All right, I'm sending a snapshot. That's the most egregious lane behavior yet. As in, it usually goes, uh, it usually tries to turn from the left lane and then freaks out at the last second, gets into the right lane, and then turns in. Um, but this time, it, uh, <laughs> it just straight up, uh, Went into the left, like into the middle lane to turn right across two lanes. Tesla, come on, man. What are you doing? <laughs> like, wh what is this logic? How is this passing test cases that are automated? Please, please upload that into a test case that runs every single time the software is built. Please. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you are, I appreciate you. Thanks for being along this journey with me. Have a good night.